Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to our channel. Welcome, family, to our humble abode. This, this is Life with the Darling Tens. You missed it again. Oh my gosh. My name is Pusisa Darlington, <laughs> and I'm with my beautiful, gorgeous wife. Mm. <laughs> to all those who have subscribed, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. We truly do appreciate it. And to those who haven't, please click on the subscribe button right now. And you are going to enjoy this video, so please give it a thumbs up and make sure that you click on the notification <laughs> bell so you don't miss any of our uploads. Yes. All right, cool. <laughs> so we're going to get right into it. Mm. So we're just having um, a general conversation today, you know, just about reflecting um, on life. Yeah, I think that's actually very nice. Um, and I, like I, I like this look. Thank you so actually. much. Um, Thank you so much. And I feels like the Caribbean kind of vibe. Yeah, Ibu. this uh, this hat. Caribbean you know? something. Yeah, this this hat and this color just makes makes me feel like we are somewhere tropical there. Yeah, you know. Okay. Anyway. So, I have a little definition here now about social anxiety. So, a conversation is just basically around just being in public spaces and, you know, being in social spaces and what it's like for different kind of people and maybe yeah. what it's been like for us as well. Yeah, and being misunderstood. Yeah. yeah. That one, I think it's a thing, that one. Mm. I think it's an actual thing. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, you do tend to feel very misunderstood. A whole lot. Okay, guys. So, what is social anxiety? Now, yeah? it says people who suffer from social anxiety. Oh, guys, I'm not feeling so great today. I don't know why. We are coming from running out of breath, but please do excuse me. People who suffer from continue oh, social anxiety tend to fear being in the presence of other people too much. Yeah? Okay. They are fearful of being judged by peers and strangers. The feeling that they are the center of attention causes them to experience intense fear and anxiety. People with social phobia or anxiety disorder dread social situations like meetings at work or attending conferences. Mm -hmm. Social anxiety disorder patients okay, often feel like they are the only ones struggling with insecurities in social situations. But in reality... Social anxiety is a very common phenomenon. Yeah. In fact, it has been a significant proportion of people throughout human history who experience this. So a person with social anxiety displays physical and behavior, behavioral sorry, symptoms that can make them feel more self-conscious as they perceive that others are judging them, resulting in increased humiliation and embarrassment. That was a very lengthy um passage it was but i think in the context mm. you know um social i don't like you know for these as much as it's such a reality for us today and like the anxiety body depression all of these things i i don't like us kind of magnifying them to point along every everything that we go through we link it to this mm -hmm. which kind of I think I feel makes us comfortable with the situation yeah. if that makes sense so um Yakuza me so would you say social anxiety and being Somewhat misunderstood go together. I think so. I think so because for me, as somebody who feels like they're constantly being misunderstood, and this is the journey of my life, really. Like, I'm talking about, like, from being in primary school, going to my high school career, and adulthood as I am now. I feel like it's just been, like, a consistent thing in my life where... I feel I'm consistently being misunderstood. And I think that is because of social anxiety. What I mean by that is how I then act and behave in public. Mm. I think that is the result of people uh, misunderstanding me, mm. you know, because they end up with perceptions and ideas of 
the person that I am mm. without necessarily knowing and understanding um, the kind of person that I really am, you know, and my character and my personality and, you know, all these things because they're hardly, hardly, they're hardly, <laughs> they hardly ever get to be visible to people uh, because we don't get to connect and therefore misunderstanding and misconclusions and misconceptions and those other negative ideas. Mm. So I think they come together in that sense where I think the root of it all is social anxiety that causes you to behave in a certain way mm. where the result is being misunderstood. Mm. That's what I think. Yeah. Um, okay. I think I definitely hear you. So my thing with social anxiety, just from what we read, it is an uncomfortability um, element in Yana for now where it's like basically kibo shy somewhat mm. and shyness you know someone once said to me for a very long time like if you know yeah no I'm shy and what 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 and then someone actually said to me shyness is actually like an evil spirit I can I, I can agree to that. Yes. I can agree to that. Shyness can't come... Can extend, though, even if it's like an 80% that I agree with. But, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, sharp, sharp. Because I had a conversation, I remember, with a friend of mine not so long ago who also had a bit of a different kind of, you know, view, yeah, thing. But... Yeah. Um, it's, it Kabakere, can't be... Excuse me, baby. Kabakere, mm. I see how one yes. can conclude on Yes. It. It's, it's an evil an spirit. Evil yeah. spirit. Because... Shyness is so many doors. Like, mm. you end up not being able to do so many things and not being able to reach your potential and not being able to take risks and put yourself out there um, because of the spirit of shy, sabo shy, you know. In class, you're probably one of the most well spoken people, but how do you know? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let me die first, rather. And please, funny enough, you know? baby, funny enough, I I often say this that I actually grew up extremely shy, you know? mm. and the reason why I was shy was because I had a severe stuttering problem mm. when I was mm. young. Mm. Like I couldn't speak for Jack, you know. Mm. Especially now, when you go in public and the first thing that happens, you go of anxiety and fear just strikes you, and because of that, it's now you can't even talk even more. Yeah. Mm. Because now, because you're scared, whatever that you try to say, you know what I'm saying? A lot of a lot can help with anxiety. Exactly. I just I yeah. have absolutely nothing to say yeah. because my mind is blank because yeah. all that's happening in my mind is like anxious. I don't yeah. want to be here. I don't yeah. know what to say. I want to say the right things. But exactly. Like stuttering thing. Also. Like with me, it was so bad mm. that. Even when somebody said to me hi or hello or you know something like that, mm. like that moment will just be problematic for me because yeah. like I wouldn't even know how to respond, mm. you know. Mm. And that's that's how bad it was. But I was actually saying this thing, Yahore. But when it came to being in class, funny enough, and having to do uh, body or a prepared mm. speech or unprepared, mm. like I was consistently the guy that was like killing it like all the time, mm. you know, like I. Of course, like any other child, you have that fear of, you know, the first few seconds, see, that mm. obviously you hope this thing, it's on my hand and, mm. you know, you remember, remember what you have yeah. to and, you know, stuff yeah. like that. But that's not the level of anxiety everyone got, you know, where honestly, like, they shut down and everything's just not coming together because you're just anxious on yeah. that on that level. Yeah. So I, I didn't have that problem, Eo. Mm. And I think it ties in with the next point, Eretu Wanka on their different personalities and how they behave in public. Mm. Because for me, um, in, in situations or circumstances where I'm familiar with those people, mm. I really become okay. Mm. You know, that's why like in my class and, you know, all that kind of stuff, I'm probably the one who laughs the loudest. I'm, I'm probably... The one that's cracking the jokes, Nyana, mm, even, mm. you know, I'm I'm probably the goofy one, Nyana, there mm. in Kaka. But all these things come out now in a space where I don't know if it's a safe space or what, because people never really got to know who, who I was outside of home, Katoom, mm. and people at school. 
You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And by and 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 by people at school, I mean people that are like in close proximity with me, like mm-hmm. our classing and you know mm-hmm. who are who are uh, linguistically and <laughs> <laughs> linguistically and. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> We're not doing that. <laughs> We're not doing that. Anyway. Mm. <laughs> oh man. Mm. But yeah, um, you guys get the point. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah. So yeah man, I feel like it just has a lot to do with um okay would that be let's kind of let's introduce this other one philia really, yeah, the different personalities and how they behave in public because um the conversation that i was having with a friend of mine not so long ago was you're not but you actually get people but i need personality shy but they still somewhat are confident yeah so for me for someone, I think for some time who actually believed you are going to be shy and be shy and what, 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 it kind of became a bit difficult to put the two together because I understood or if you've got to like be shy because of the lack of confidence in a few things. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Absolutely. I feel like how are they comfortable? You say, there's, there are, they, I feel like when are shyness and there's being reserved. Yeah. And what sets these two apart, you know, that element of confidence and self-contentment. How are you self-content? Will you confident in yourself? It's okay to say. It reminds me of a conversation that I've had. I, I actually have this conversation a lot lately, Ozdine, mm-hmm. ne, about your nine to you. Just getting to a point of being so comfortable with yourself, understanding that even in social um, and public spaces, because I think that's another thing. Everyone is making conversation and nah, I'm not so great at initiating conversations mm. or I really would much rather just sit by myself and mm. not have a conversation or go, go out of my way. On social media and, and stuff. Yeah, go yeah. out of my way to, I don't know, be overly friendly because you get people who are just, you know, very... Yeah. To themselves, but how yeah. they well able enough man like what was up when I stress and I need to, but they are content. And then you get situations that was really hard. I going through the absolute most. Like I really would love to stand up and mm. go have a conversation right mm. now, but I can't get yeah. myself to actually do it. And then you get those and I won't lie, that's that's people. me. That's me. Yeah. Mm, you'd love to be yeah. that. Yeah, like um, I'd like to walk in and start chatting with everyone and have chit chats everywhere. I'd really love to be that guy. And for you, I think it's a bit confusing because generally we're not confident. So if we're confusing right now, why you are not able to do stuff like that? I, I actually kind of don't get it. I was having a conversation with a friend of mine that's studying masters, you know, right. and he broke this thing down to me according to studies he basically mm-hmm. and you know stuff like that and it made so much sense and the conclusion that he came up with well you are saying something similar then like that to say it's a bit odd because you're also the same guy that's portraying boldness and you know all these things mm-hmm. but you want to say that you can't on a social anxiety mm-hmm. actually you know mm-hmm. so to speak yeah. and then he alluded to the fact that Hore, well his conclusion was about Hore, it might just be according to studies it might just be about training you know where it's an area of my life I, I never really trained. Woman. So I don't know what to do with it in essence. Mm, you know what I'm saying? Mm. So because you are not equipped in that area, you know, mm. it's healthy, she in essence. Woman. Mm, immature. Yeah. Immature, yes. Yeah. That was the word I was looking for. Mm. Immature and yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Well, that makes a lot of sense, actually. Yeah. It's not so much that you 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 don't believe that you can do it or you're wondering or na okay shapo but I'm not doing jaza jam but I'm pressing or jam but it's more a thing you just never did it. You don't have the skill set. Yeah. Okay. And there's being antisocial also. Well, that's that's a different conversation. 
Which, yes, also, yes. Which I think are yes, also actually. M. Antisocial. Yeah, which I think are also M. M. But I think if you're antisocial, then you wouldn't have a desire, yeah. Oh, no, wow. antisocially, in a sense, of when I walk into spaces, I, I'd, I'd rather just occupy my, my own little corner and, you know, my own mm. space and, and, and not be out there. And by virtue of that, I think that's me saying that moment mm. of, um, what am I saying? That moment is me being antisocial. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like this conversation is actually very broad. It is. I feel like it's actually very, very it broad. Is. But essentially, um, where I do feel like it has a lot to do with Kibata who 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 is at this point here. Yeah. Shyness mm-hmm. if it's something a a I th- we should never get comfortable with the idea of being shy. Yeah. Yeah. It's one thing to be um, reserved, like I said, but we should never get comfortable with internal like you're shy and mm. try, like yeah. try, you know, like don't well, coward away from... If there's one thing that... One big thing I've learned from my husband, you know, do it scared. Like you will get scared, you will get... You know those moments is that, but the more or one other thing you know, we're about training it. I was watching a video also about you know, about lack of self confidence and mm. really well about who's more especially when about to and this guy when I go about how he used to struggle a lot with that. <laughs> he really just couldn't see himself in a conversation, yeah. Leah Stranger, for instance, or yeah. when networking is a big problem, of which is. Life, guys, it can't be that it's how a well about to yet repeal a lot, you know what I'm saying? But about work on Toya, he would I to the exercise this one and liberal every single day. He'd make it a point that he talks to at least three strangers. That's how it's been said. Obviously, he'd get rude people, he'd obviously get nice people, he'd obviously get but you want to make a What is going on with this yeah. man? Why are you talking to me? Yeah. But the more he did it. The more obviously Leona Ella Trina and Twan Yahore. Firstly, you don't have to take everything personally. A a whatever response that you get in a situation where you've put yourself out there or you actually did, you know, confidently stand up in front of a crowd, but you messed up. Mm. You know, I think another element here called Riskant have that element of or sometimes you would think, oh, what if I start her? Then you actually go and start her. <laughs> you know, that's, you actually go and start her. That's horrible. But you need that, to forgive be yourself. Really, really bad. You should forgive yourself immediately in that moment and just always get a happy. out of that. Wabon, because I think it has a lot to do with hoba self contenting mm. and just rooted in you. How you comfortable then? You wouldn't struggle her whole like with social anxiety because we it's able. I'm just not someone who is out there, but I think it's tricky. Sense. I think this last part that you just said now, I think it's tricky because mm. I'm also, I'm very self-aware. Yes. Yeah? yes. But still with me being self-aware, it, it's still challenging for me. Like I'll make an example, go, go church, for instance. Mm. Sorry. Um, go church. There are still people who don't know who perceive I am. Perceive you a certain way. Yeah, yeah, and 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 still perceive me in that you know negative way because we never really had any form of encounter in guy guy. Mm. And apparently, a lot of people tell me all the time, "Hore, every time I'm seen, I'm always seen with like a frown on my face and a serious face, and I look mean and I look unapproachable and mm. you know all these mm. things." And I've taken accountability mm. for that, mm. Bobo, to say. I didn't know it was that bad, you know, mm. where people really look at me and think, oh, I'm really mean mm. because of the way my face looks. Um, and then it's something that I had to work on, I want to say, part of what's happening in public spaces with me is this wall that I have, you know, and partially so, it's something that I wasn't even aware of, I want. Okay. Jorge. I'm that serious guy in public. That's so serious, so much that I'm unapproachable. Mm. So I've had to take accountability of that to say I need to be aware. When I'm in public spaces, I need to 
kind of like be conscious of the fact how okay, somebody might wanna um maybe even just to refita and afela and then you know just a hello because just giving a hello and a smile hey. and you know just keeping a friendly face and actually putting effort in putting on a friendly face mm. you know mm. so i was saying more so these are things that i've i've been aware of mm. and um i was actually on this point of what what you just said now okay mm. so i am self aware and i am somewhat confident mm. you know or it's a thing that i can portray mm. you know for me to be able to do something it it takes you to to do it like you've got confidence in it even mm. though inside you know you're a bit uh, you know like mm. your knee uh, again your knees are shaking and mm. Mm. so i i do think that that's a bit tricky I even forgot kind of what's your point I even forgot kind of hey. what you said what I was answering actually because I just mm. said so much but in any case yeah. yeah I was saying I think I think you had said something about um confidence say that if only confident then there is no room for this is a paraphrase obviously now yeah 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 that there is no room for um that level of anxiety socially yes, and you know yes, stuff yes, like yes, that yes. and I'm saying I want to argue that fact though because let now I, I can portray that character of being um confident and 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 mm. you know but deep inside of me I'm still you know that guy who's in his corner there because I can't initiate the first conversation you know as a matter of mm. fact I was telling someone and I was saying to him to say probably 100% of all the friendships I had mm. are these guys who initiated the 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 the, the um those relationships mm. otherwise like when we moved into fauna for instance mm. how i became friends with the friends that i have now like my boys boys um mm. that i grew up with it actually took my sister who was in the same class with with uh, one of the gents mojela to come to me at home you know mm. on some i have a little brother at home please come take him and take him to your friends and make him a friend of yours mm. and that's how this guy actually came to me and you know we became mm. friends mm. i wasn't going to be the guy that goes out and <laughs> you know what i'm saying mm. so it's still the same thing even now ko church where i'm not going to start the conversation like i'm not going to be the one who initiates the conversation mm. because i just don't have it in me mm. you know what i'm saying mm. and then it brings that thing of being misunderstood where people think hi hey, maybe this guy is not so nice or maybe this one is arrogant ah, or maybe this one is this and it's that but you don't actually know how you this person is suffering inside in that moment this mm. person is dying mm. you know what i'm saying like i still have to go to some meetings now and i want to be late you know <laughs> and i want to be late you know what i'm saying because i know how i don't do well in those spaces now where uh We're for like socialize. 15 minutes i socialize uh, and you know mm-hmm. and then like i just want to be late so that by the time i have the literally meeting or start and then after the meeting i can just bounce mm. you know because it's 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 that bad that's why Kere, it 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 has more to do with contentment yeah the kind of person you are that's why Kere, the arab work other thing have the different personalities and what it doesn't mean just because you're extroverted and what 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 you don't have those what what or because you're confident okay maybe extroverts are not actually a good example because they are the people mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. but just because all of them are confident they are very bold and what doesn't mean you don't have you know social issues in yana say when you're in public spaces and stuff like that and doesn't mean because how you introverted and more to yourself or that you are suffering all the time yeah right that's also true because you know that thing we were well, some people are just laid back and you know yeah, they kind of come on and so hey, yeah, they're then. just not loud and yeah. 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 yeah which is Social also okay. butterflies and air mm-hmm. so kibua about um contentment like how is self content it's about like I'm just reserved and I'm just to myself mm. and like there are no issues like if I'm in a public space I can sustain a conversation I can maintain a conversation with someone and we long we find ourselves sitting together and it's sharp or is going to you're constantly beating yourself up because you're seeing the surrounding sound yeah. in a certain way and you want you're wanting to yeah. you know be like everyone else but how about like how you content in tori i'm just like this and this is what i prefer in fact then you're fine like you're not going through the social or what a 
It's yeah. one thing to be confident yeah. and be bold and be able to do all of these other things, but like you're saying, because maybe that muscle high exercise the ha hulu in a yam hoba in conversations, yeah, and, and stuff like that. And that becomes yeah. then the problem. Yeah. I want. But if you're yeah. like self content, which is I think the one thing that we need to work on the most just as people generally, just be content, eat a bewe na. Sometimes, not for me personally, I've gotten to a point, Moki, I've had to get to a point, Moki realized I'm more, actually, I, like, God is literally my everything. The Holy yeah. Spirit helps me in every little thing, you guys don't understand. And if, like, relationship, I can't do it, I can't it, I can't it. That's where I literally struggle with every, yeah. or in every area of my life. I would, under normal circumstances, yeah. you know, Probably just do fine, you know. Yeah. At some point, I remember a friend of mine and this girl, like, a social butterfly. And at that time in my life, in a case, conscious, like, I'm trying to You're struggling. Mm-hmm. Oh, you weren't. No, but it came naturally. That's my okay. point. Hey, it came naturally because naturally, came to like a like a But I got to a point where I started struggling. Um, mm. in public spaces, libatu, nikirata, namu, lingirata, when I was throwing at her. So I'm just like, mm. let's go. Yeah. You know, I can yeah. have a conversation with anyone. Now your husband is the total opposite. <laughs> you know? At my side. But like I'm saying, I'm I am not got doing to a anyway, point. Babe. Not. <laughs> <laughs> but we really say it, man. I'm sorry. I got to a point where I started struggling. Lina said, keep on now. Oh, like... Sustaining and maintaining a conversation is so hard. Like I get to be keep working, but I don't mm. know what to say. I'm trying to say the right things and I don't want to say the wrong things. And I just started realizing well, that's actually when you know my source or not contentment mm. yeah, a little bit shaky and I guess it's sharp yeah. and stuff like that. So I think that's sort of what I'm saying is foundation area. We need to be okay with knowing who we are first, yeah. so that you're not shaken by where you find mm-hmm. yourself or the people mm-hmm. around you and stuff like that. I have a friend who's like very, yeah. you know, so you can very easily like, Sheva, she's like the best person to walk on this earth because she has no problem yeah. none whatsoever. Yeah. My best friend is exactly the same. Yeah. Like I don't go anywhere with that guy anymore. <laughs> Like I like, dude, come on, man. I don't know at least to struggle a lot because you don't know when I'm got to how much I'm holy bang, or at all because when I'm a DC fellow entertainer or talk at all because you can have intelligent yeah. conversations with them or whatever. That sort of thing. So with people who are able to just thrive everywhere, you can very easily also feel like a bit small Nyana, yeah. because you're like, oh, but why am I not like that? I want yeah. that sort of thing. That's why we just need to be rooted in her. When you're the kind of person who can maybe sustain a conversation or other yeah. conversations at Jena or spaces at Jena and just be okay with that. I, w- I want to support what you're saying because it's such a brilliant point and I think it's such an important point, you know. Mm. Um, I really, really love what you're saying. Mm. Mabani, on my on my Facebook, I wrote to her, being self-aware is the best gift you can give to yourself, you know? Mm. on into of analyzing and understanding, what is wrong with me? Is there anything wrong with me? Mm. Why do I tend to do this in, in certain spaces? Mm. Why do I tend to react like Why this? Why do I feel like this? Why do I feel like happens? this? Yeah. You know? Yeah. What is my strength? What is my weakness? What is this? What is that? And then you are able to do something about it, which is the point, yes. you know? Yes. And I think this is why it was a very good thing that um, that friend of mine said to me, mm. Jorge, maybe it's just a thing where that muscle, like you described it, is not trained, yes. you know? Yes. That then puts me in a space where I can do something about it now, you know? Yeah. I haven't found oh, what though, mm. but <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm. It's a step in the right direction, you know, and I think 
we need to get to that level of being self-conscious and self-aware, mm. you know, mm. so that we can understand certain things about ourselves, mm. you know. And self-acceptance also. Why not uh, yeah. constantly fighting against yourself because you're like, oh, but yeah. this is really like, I, at peace, I but you're yeah. constantly fighting with yourself because you want to be like that person. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes you feel like, yeah. oh, maybe it's too much, and you're like, why mm-hmm. can't I just be... You know, okay, but yeah. I think that seldom, very seldom happens. But yeah. get some clala mm-hmm. You know, okay. you just constantly are trying to be like the people around you. More than content to fill out. I don't say much, or I'm very loud. I <laughs> accept that. Okay, but what about you? Get a big joke, well, about you, and that's just yeah. who I am. Another important thing, in conclusion, mm-hmm. as we close this video now, so that it's covered too long. Mm-hmm. You said something about. Um, not allowing being shy to be the thing that takes over. Yes. And I think that's so, so important, mm. eh? which ties into this thing of being self-aware. Because we all have to get to a point where we need to be able to confront ourselves, yes. you know, yes. and to be aware of what your weaknesses are so that you can improve in your, in yes. your um, weaknesses. Which is one of the things that I believe in so much. Like one of my mantras that I live with is outwork outlast and out improve you know which means constantly improving is a big part of what i believe in Mm. you know which Mm. is the evolution of man because we're constantly um evolving right so i think it's that much important which is extremely important to 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 be aware of i mean i had to get to a point where I mean, I was horrible, babe. Like, I was extremely shy. Like, I couldn't... Like, when I say I couldn't talk, like, I literally couldn't speak. Mm. I remember when we started um, attending this new church because we moved from Gobotabe to Bloom, right? Mm. So when we got to this church in Bloom, mm. literally, I was I was like this to my dad. Mm. And I wasn't going anywhere. I wasn't in, in, the, in the Sunday school. I wasn't speaking to any other kid. Like, none of that. Mm. None of that, you know? I, like, I was literally like a tail to my dad. That's how bad this thing was. Mm. Right? And at some point in my life, I needed to confront myself also just to work on certain things and to get rid of them, which I think it's important. Mm. Otherwise, you know, like you said, you really miss out and lose out on a lot of things because you're holding on yeah. to this weakness. The fear. That you have. Yes. You know, mm. and it really becomes a problem when it's a thing now that has taken over more than any other thing yes. you know and i think that's that's the point that you are making mm. you know to mm. say by all means we should really strive to not allow these fears and these anxieties and you know these 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 um um things that we don't have confidence in mm. that nobody even knows about but it it's eating you so much inside that honestly really it, it's 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 even to a point where this thing like is an actual weakness yeah. you know that we really shouldn't allow these things to consume us like that. That's the point now where we say this thing is, you know, even becoming a spirit because this thing mm. is even being used as a weapon against you, yeah. you know? So, mm. yeah, I just wanted to say that just to support what you're saying, to say I really think it's a it's a very good point that you made there. Mm. God yeah. really does not give us a spirit of fear, but of yeah. power, of and love, and of a sound mind, yeah. of power, of love. How do you mm. show love will shy to yourself? You don't want to approach people. You don't yeah. want to talk to people. You want to talk in front of people. Yeah. You can't live like that. To kill a yeah. Being reserved is another thing. Being shy, I think, is something else. Yeah. So, yeah. I think that's it. Let's just work on ourselves, you guys. God, let God give you your true identity yeah. of accountability and Most confidence. Importantly. Boldness Most importantly. in being who God created mm-hmm. you to be. Mm-hmm. And that's another important thing. Mm. That's another... Baby, hey, what you said today? What's going on? <laughs> hey, you're coming through the heat today. Eh? Sweet Jesus, <laughs> I love you. <laughs> that is so important what you're saying because I have realized with myself and I've heard so many people testify about the same thing also to mm-hmm. say, when you are... Um, when you have that relationship with God and you're so close with God and you're in the Word and you know all these things... You even just become extremely bold. Yes. You know, all of a sudden you wanna talk and say stuff, mm. you know, to everyone and you know how holo ludla stay, man, correct. And 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 kokyonan tune we 
a lot of your identity starts coming out now mm. also because greater is he that is in you Amen. than the one that is in the world. Yes. And that just constantly just keeps coming out mm. because now you 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 start being aware of the person that you actually really, really are. Yes. You know, and I think it's all these ideas and concepts that we end up um, coming across in the Bible and understanding and, you know, mm. these things where there are certain areas in your life that are busy getting empowered without even you knowing about it, mm. you know. Mm where literally all that's happening, you're being revealed to yourself. Anyway, cool. Yeah. Want you to give something to mm. someone, but all the God, ah, so, yeah. Yeah. You're good to go to work, reserved, but come push, yeah. push or shove. I, I what? do what I have to do. Push or shove. Okay. Hmm. Come push, come shove. I do what I have to do and I show up when I have to show up. And I'm content with personality. Yaka. Personality yaka hai. Yeah. In a kisha. So, hmm. right or there, friends. Yaka in a kisha. So, right there, friends and family and subscribers and followers. Hopefully, no haters. Um, yeah, that's. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Like my wife said, come push, come shove, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's where we're going to end it. So please give this video a thumbs up and leave us a comment. Share your thoughts with us. Uh, yes. What do you think? And please share your experiences with us and yeah. how you deal with this social anxiety in public. If and you actually experience it at yes, all. Yes. Your type of personality. Yeah. And how do you cope and how do you handle it in yeah. public and um yeah share some advice if you can also you know we'll 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 definitely appreciate those mm -hmm. comments and hopefully take a thing or two from them also yes yeah. until the next video we love you bye